Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Ashley. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, as you can see, sorry, that's my child. In today's video, as you can see, we are going to be doing a makeup look and I'm going to be doing this look right here, which is just a really colorful look. In all reality, you can take the techniques and just kind of, you know, create it your own. Um, but I just wanted to try something different because it's been a while since I did anything that incorporated yellow and green and stuff like that. So I know this isn't for everybody, but that's just beyond the point. It's just about art and having fun and being creative. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, give me a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel so much. Share if you want to. And yeah, leave me a comment down below. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So for this eye look, I use the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. And this is what it looks like. This is a very pretty palette. If you don't have this and you like color, I highly recommend it. And it's so pretty. Like, it's cute to just have on display. That's my favorite part of it. So let me just show you. So you get a really big mirror and then you get... A bunch of pretty colors and they all have ice cream flavor names like pistachio mango orange cream rainbow sherbet cotton candy you know what I mean so you get a whole bunch of different shades there so the main colors we're basically taking are gonna be this yellow which is called mango green tea and mint chocolate chip so I'm just kind of going into those three right there just so you get like a kind of um an idea yeah. so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eye and I'm gonna use the elf this is the 16 hour camel concealer and I'm just gonna put enough all over my eye and then I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just going to pat that in like just evenly distribute it and um, then I'm just going to make sure there's enough if it starts creasing then I know I need to go ahead and just add a little bit more. You wanna let the concealer just dry a little bit and like I said, if you see it to start to crease, then you wanna go ahead and add a little bit more and let it dry. You always wanna make sure that it is dry before you go ahead and put eyeshadow on top of it. So now I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow and I'm going to take green tea. And I know my, my lash is looking a little wonky on this side, so just ignore it. I'll fix it afterwards. Um, I'm gonna go into the color green tea, which is this color right here and then i'm just going to take that and i'm just going to apply that right in the crease so we're just going to apply it right here and i'm just going to keep going back and forth with it and like i always say you always want to hold your brush at the very end when you're blending just because you have a little bit more control when doing so if you hold it like if you're holding a pen or a pencil you don't really have that much control as if you hold it down here it is a little bit tricky to to um get used to it but once you do it'll make all the difference in your looks so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just keep going and building this up and just keep swirling it around and then just to give you like a little um heads up on what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and take mint chocolate chip which is down here and i'm gonna apply it like mixing it in and I'm going to just take both of those colors back and forth, pop, 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 and just keep blending it in. So once I go ahead and finish that, I'll show you the next step. So that's pretty much what we got going on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some Vaseline. Yes, you heard correct. I'm going to take Vaseline. So this is just the Walmart brand. And I'm going to go and take the top because the top has plenty of Vaseline on it. And I'm going to take a very flat brush just like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like over draw my crease if you will I'm just gonna kind of bring it a little bit more out and upwards just because that's my preference you don't technically have to do that so the reason we're taking the Vaseline is because it's just gonna help clean it up really easy you'll see so I'm gonna take some of the Vaseline just like that and I'm just going to just kind of sorry I'm gonna be looking down at my mirror but we want to get this precise so just kind of carve out what i'm going for and you can see that it just really helps mark what you're gonna um do so i'm cleaning my brush on a rag that i have here and i'm just gonna go in with no extra 
Vaseline and just kind of continue to clean it up. Then I'm going to take a Q-tip with nothing on it and I'm just going to kind of clean up that Vaseline, just take away that product. Then I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. concealer and I'm going to take a, another brush. So just a really flat brush just like this and I'm going to take the concealer and I'm going to go ahead and apply it in that empty space right there. This is going to help the eyeshadow now stick. I'm going to take my little fan and just dry the concealer a little bit quicker. Now I'm going to go into the color mango which is the yellow in the palette and I'm going to take a very small yellow brush. Yellow brush. <laughs> It's because it's yellow, because of the eyeshadow. But it's a small little brush. Focus. Okay, so I'm going to take this yellow and I'm just going to pack it right in this inner one third. Now what I'm going to do is, let me... So I have like this pigment from um, Sugar Pill, which I've had for quite a while. So it's just, it's filled to the tippy top. So it's just like a bright yellow and it has like some specks of yellow on it. So I just went ahead and applied that on this eye. I'm going to use my duo eyelash glue and I'm going to apply a little bit on top of that yellow. And then I'm going to go in with this and apply it right on top of the glue. Okay, and then just like that, we got that. So now for the next color, I'm going to take the green in the palette and the color is called Pistachio, which is this green right here. So I'm going to take another flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply it right in the center, right in the middle. So with a look like this, it's just very important that you just kind of keep going back and forth, just blending the colors. So what I like to do and tell people what to do is... Let me get a bigger brush. So when you're blending colors, so you take your brush and this part right here of the brush is what I call the belly of the brush. So let's say for instance, I'm going to take the um I'm going to take the green, okay? So I'm going to rub my brush into the green, right? Tap off any excess and I'm going to focus on the belly of the brush. So I'm not going to really focus on this top portion as I'm going to focus on the middle area, okay? The belly. So I'm going to take that part and I'm going to press that part in between the yellow and the green and also right here between that teal mint color, whatever. And I'm just going to pack it on like that. And then you'll go in to a brush and take the mint color and do the same thing so just focus just like that and the same thing goes for the yellow the yellow I already applied that glittery but if you wanted to um, touch up that you just do the same thing so you just want to do that back and forth back and forth until you get that like blended transition you don't want to see where the yellow starts where the green starts you know what I mean you just want to kind of mesh together for the lashes, I'm going to put them off camera. I'm going to use these. These are from Luella. These are from Luella. These are from Shop Miss A, and this is in the style Luella. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean them up because I already wore them previously. I'm going to clean them up, apply some mascara, apply the lashes, and we'll go ahead and continue. Next, since we're going to be a little bit extra, okay, I'm going to take some of these gems that I got off of Amazon. You can just type in flat back. Um, like gems or whatever on Amazon and these will pop up if you want these specific ones I'll go ahead and put the link down below because they came with like a little bag to put them in and it came with the little pencil tool thingamajiggy so this is what it looks like so it just has a bunch of different colors and I'm going in with the green one down here so I am basically so I'm gonna go ahead and just take my eyelash glue and this is the duo eyelash glue and I'm just going to make two little dots so we're gonna do one right here and one right there and just hope they kind of look alike I think so and then you just take a little pencil that it comes with and you literally just pick it up 
Okay, so I don't know how well you can see them in camera because the green is a light green. But I got them as similar as I could get them without fussing with, with it too much, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and just finish real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of brow highlight. So the color I'm taking is called French Vanilla and it's that white up here. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to apply that right to the brow bone. Okay, so this is the completed look. My hair is kind of meh. Not really feeling it because I just washed my hair today and put a little bit of product in it. And I typically don't really like first day curls. Like I so much prefer second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day. Because it, it tends to get more volume. So like right now it isn't really giving what it's supposed to give. So we're just gonna try to hide my big forehead. Yeah, so this is the look. I really like it. It's colorful, you know. You know, I love me some colorful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will be doing more looks, more hauls, more everything. So definitely stay tuned. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to recreate this look. And if you are, definitely tag me. You know what to do. And yeah, that really just completes this video. Thank you so much for sticking all the way through. I appreciate you guys. And just thank you for sticking with me through my trials and ever. And just trying to figure out my background, my settings, my everything. Just thank you for having patience with me. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.